Hey Muskies, we're here with the new school year. And we're back with... With a new crew! And, and you're, you're watching Muskie Minutes! Hey Muskies, I'm Gabe. And I'm Kaylee, and we're back with the first batch of general announcements this year. Today is picture day, so bring your brightest musky smile to school. The Muscatine Chamber of Comerance is looking for volunteers to help in the info booth with cleanup for the Pearl City Vintage Market on Saturday, October 8th on the riverfront from around 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. You can contact Dina Ferrio with any questions with the info displaced below. On Thursday, September 15th, MCC is hosting the Iowa ACAC College Fair, and it will be here at MHS from 8.30 to 11.30 a.m. There will be over 50 colleges and universities for students to meet with questions. 10th through 12th grade students will be called down by class with their teachers during this time. If you have any questions about this, feel free to email Mr. Walsh at the email below. The Mountain Bike Club rides on Thursdays and Sundays. All abilities welcome. For more information, you can find event details on Facebook at MuskieMTB and email all your questions to MuskieMTB at gmail.com. Stinky's House of Horrors is looking for volunteers for yard work, which includes raking, picking up sticks, and obstacles in the yard. Troy, Stinky, Philpot may also need help and assistance with building props and etc. Specific work will be detailed as it gets closer to Halloween. MHS students will not be acting in the haunts, but just doing necessary work to prepare. Those interested may sign up with Stinky by emailing the email below or messaging him on Facebook. Just a reminder that you may order your sub sandwiches ahead of time online using the link in the general announcements. Teachers and students, if you drive to school, you must display your MHS parking tag in your vehicle. If you don't have your tag, please go to Student Services and turn in a form. In the future, you'll be fined $5 and an orange sticker will be on your vehicle. Homecoming week is September 26th and the theme is Muskie Mania. And the homecoming dance is on October 1st. For more information, will be provided in the upcoming week. If you purchase the yearbook, you can pick it up in the Attendance Center. There are a limited number of yearbooks that can be purchased for $56. If you're interested in the Martial Arts Club, which is starting up very soon, you can email Jesse Venezuela right here at this email. Due to construction, the Musky Locker will not be open until the end of September or the beginning of October. You can find your lockers in Power School, select Reports, then 2022-23 Locker Report, and it'll give you your locker combo and your locker. That's all for this week, Muskies. Now on to our next segment. Hi, I'm Ava. I'm a 10th grader and I'm in marching band and cross country. And I'm excited to be on Muskie Minutes. What's up, Muskies? I'm Bryce and I'm a sophomore and I'm part of the football team. And I'm excited to be on Muskie Minutes. Hello, Muskies. Um, my name is Luke and I'm a sophomore, and I mountain bike, and I also work at the movie theater, and I'm excited to be here. <laughs> Hi, my name's Amira. I'm a senior. I really like to like do makeup artistry, and I'm really excited to be in Muskie Minutes. Hi, Muskies. I'm Ava. And I'm Bryce, and we're back with your Muskie Sports News. Today, the freshman volleyball players have a quad against North Scott in our main gym. On Tuesday, the JV sophomore and varsity girls volleyball teams play against Bettendorf in the main gym. The sophomore and JV games start at 5 and the varsity game begins at 6.30. This Thursday, the cross country teams have a meet in Fort Madison at 5 and the boys varsity golf team has a meet at Finkman at 1 p.m. There is a varsity girls swim meet at 6 o'clock on Tuesday against PV in the Carver Pool. The JV Volleyball team has a tournament at Iowa City Liberty High School at 5 p.m. on Thursday. And on Friday, the football teams play against PV at PV. JV starts at 5 and varsity starts at 7.15. That's all for this week. Go Muskies! Muskies, I'm here at the game and guess what? We just won! This is an awesome day for us. Let's go! All right, everyone. I'm right here with our star, Daniel Adams. All right, hey. Daniel. Uh, tell me a little bit. What is your favorite part about football? Oh, it's just the hitting. It's the experience, the rush of adrenaline. 
you know, I've been with these, I've been with these boys for a long time. We've never beat Ben Dorf in our lives, all right? Never until today. How do you feel right now that you just made history? It feels awesome. It feels awesome. And what's something you want to tell the school? Muskie Nation. That's right, Let's Daniel. ride, baby. Muskie Nation. Let's ride. Hey, Muskies, I'm right here with... Abel. Alrighty, Abel, and tell me, how are you feeling right now? Excited. Happy. That's great. What's your favorite part about football? Hitting people. And what do you want to tell the school right now? Let's go, Muskies. That's right. Muskies, I'm here with... Lucas Hardy. And Luke, what do you do with the football team? We just beat Bettendorf. It was pretty awesome. And are you feeling hyped right now? Yeah, we're feeling hyped. Yeah, we're feeling hyped. What's your favorite part about being a musky football star? Being a winner. That's what my favorite part is right what there. What do you want to tell the school? I want to tell the school we're going to come back next week and kick Pleasant Valley's butt. I like to hear that. Go Muskies, Luke. Yeah, go Muskies. Hey, Muskies, I'm here with... Landon Batty. Alrighty, Landon, tell me, what is your favorite part about being a fearless musky football player? Probably just the brothership with everybody. We're all super close. And how are you feeling right now? Pretty great. That's awesome. What do you want to tell the school? Go Muskies. There you go, Muskies. We are here with the fearless brave warriors of Muscatine High School here with the first win of the season <clears throat> and hopefully many more. Thank you guys for tuning in today and we'll be back to you. Hey Muskies, this is Luke and I'm your meteorologist and here is this week's weather. It's gonna be a moderate one so make sure to pack a sweatshirt. Hey muskies, welcome back to your hallway shenanigans. Now usually our episodes tend to be a little sillier, but today we thought we'd just do a small welcome into the school year and ask people what their favorite thing about the show was last year and uh, what we could do this year. So let's get rolling. <laughs> Did you get that? Yeah. Hey muskies, I'm Lynn and we're here with... Alexis. Hi Alexis. My question for you today is, what was your favorite episode for Musky Minutes last year? My favorite episode was probably one of the finish the lyrics or guess the song ones. Those were mm. pretty cool. That was a good one. And one more question for you today. Is there anything that you want to see on Musky Minutes that you haven't seen yet? Um, I think you guys should do like a cultural diversity one. I think that would be cool. Ooh. Alrighty. Thank you for your input. Yeah, of course. Hey Muskies, this is Luke and I'm here with... Garrett. Okay Garrett, I have a question for you. Yes. What was your favorite part about Muskie Minutes last year? Uh, my favorite part is the event highlights, like letting people know like when we have a football game or like a sports game or a music event too. Anything you'd like to see this year? Uh, not really, I really like what you guys do. Hey Muskies, I'm Brianna and we're here with... Hayden. And we're gonna ask her, what was your favorite thing about Muskie Mints last year? Like any clip or like any certain part of it? Um, I really liked the hallway shenanigans. Well, you're on one right now. <laughs> yeah, they're funny, so. And what would you like to see this year for Muskie Minutes, in Muskie Minutes? I don't know. I liked the cheese, the, what, or what was it? Would, you, would you like, or would you eat that cheese? Yeah, I thought that was pretty funny. So just more like random things like that, I don't know. So go up to people and ask them to eat food? Yes. Okay, <laughs> all right. Okay. Sorry. Hi, I'm Amira, and I'm with Kendra Kenyon. And I wanted to ask you what your favorite Musky Minutes moments were. Last year, I really enjoyed hallway shenanigans. My favorite was when Bob had me eat cheese. That one was good. Uh, what do you want to see this year on Musky Minutes? I want to see more hallway shenanigans. I think they're really funny. Hey, Muskies, it's Kaylee. Don't forget to follow our Instagram at Musky Minutes and our TikTok at Musky Minutes. On our Instagram, we'll post our weekly poll every week, so don't forget to go vote in that. And on the TikTok, we'll post information or behind the scenes things. Go check it out. 
Hey Muskies, I'm Luke Dolby and I'm here to tell you about the movie Beast. So the movie Beast is Jaws on land, but instead of sharks, it's lions. It is a little violent and it's rated R, but if you enjoy animal thrillers or adventure, then it's the movie for you. So all in all, the movie was worth the money. I would rate it 10 out of 12. <laughs> 10 out of 12 screaming, <laughs> 10 out of 12 screaming babies. Um, it does get a little cheesy at some parts, but grab some popcorn, pick a seat and buckle up because this movie is sure to make your jaw drop and keep your eyes riveted to the screen. Hey muskies, happy birthday to these muskies, I think. Hey Muskies, it's Lynn and I'm back with this year's shoutouts. Today we'll be shouting out Mr. Ben Johns. Thank you for everything you do for us. So for the viewers, can you enlighten us on what you do? So I'm the behavioral mediation specialist and really what I do, I'm part of our safety department and my specialty is helping kids work through social problems, drama, conflicts, and fighting so that you don't get to a point where you do something dumb, have to get in trouble, and instead we can resolve it in a way that helps you out and makes everyone feel better about it. Ladies and gentlemen, that's not all he does. At football games, you'll often see him collecting tickets and just making sure that we're safe while we're watching the game and our team go. Thank you. Yep. Hello, muskies. Welcome back to Food for the Brain with Bob, yours truly. Today, we're going to talk about math. So math is a touchy subject for some of us people. Others of us are very good at it. But either way, it's still a very important virtue. There is a specific quote. I don't really know who said it. It comes from various different sources. But math does not always solve the problem, but math does provide the hope that every problem has a solution. So when you think of it, really, math really not only is teaching you life skills to use throughout your life, it allows you to think, well, I have this problem, I can definitely find a solution. It may not be the easiest thing in the world, but you can definitely find it. All right, that's all for me today, guys, and we'll see you next time. Muskies, we killed Garrett.